I have been trying to sell on the website Teespring train related t-shirts for quite a few months now and I finally after many months finally sold my first shirt and it was because I bought it myself I bought it on April 28th and at the time it told me that it estimated it would be delivered to me sometime around May 14th before May 14th and this was very important to me because I wanted to wear the shirt that I bought to the transportation museum on national train day that's why I bought it so early I thought that maybe it'll get here if I order it on April 28th or whatever. Maybe it'll get here by May 18th. <sighs> Teespring, it kind of disappoints me. But it finally did get here. It got here on the 20th of May. Just a few days too late. If I would have just bought it just a little bit sooner, I would have been alright. Now it got delivered with a tear in the bag. So that's obviously very fun. Let's see what it looks like after all this time. Scissors. These are the sort of scissors they give to people who run beside trains. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. I am impressed. I am impressed. I am impressed with Teespring. It took it forever, but it did finally get here. Has that new shirt smell to it. Now I do not buy t-shirts, hardly any, because you can't tell that I'm wearing a t-shirt. I mean the t-shirts that I'm wearing, been wearing for quite a few months are just like three dollar shirts that I bought at Michael's. But this, this is... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I must try this on. Yeah. <laughs> My plan was to go to the Transportation Museum wearing this shirt on National Train Day and tell all my friends if I had any. But seriously, I had only told a few people about my hand car at the time. So my plan was to show all the people, even if I had told them about my hand car, I was all the people who knew about my lawnmower train, how I was fixing it up, and how I was vlogging that like a loon. My plan was to say, do you want to know why I work on my lawnmower train? Do you want to know why I am working so hard on my fire up this hot garbage train? Do you want to know why? Because this train is garbage and so am I. But I didn't get to, because it took too long to get shipped. It took it three over three weeks to get here. Now I got this very nice prop shirt, but not really much reason to wear it since I ain't doing lawnmower training stuff anymore. I mean, I thought that I would have it here in time, but uh, not everything can work out all the time. But still, I am very impressed with Teespring and their quality. But really, you can't even tell what sort of shirt I'm wearing on a regular basis because I'm wearing five layers of clothing. And it's very rare that I have my shirt unbuttoned and waving in the wind like this. So that's this update. <sighs> very boring, I know. Maybe I'll have something interesting to end this video with by the time I get edited. <sighs> and here is some interesting facts since I'm on the subject. When it comes to products that I've tried to sell on Teespring, the most popular product, nothing is sold except for the shirt that I'm wearing now. This is the only product that has been bought yet. This one shirt. It's the one shirt that has been bought and I bought it myself. Whoopee. The most popular product, strangely enough, is of all things, Let's zoom in on this. It is of all things, now this is all the views from December 1st to May 28th. It is of all things my Shadanoa Central Cup. Isn't that strange? So my garbage train shirt has 
619 views since December. And the most popular thing with 6,284 views is what I say what? This Shadow Noah Central mug. It's been viewed 6,000 something times and still not sold one. So depressing. So if you would like to see me make some real progress on the hand car I bought, you could buy a t-shirt. If you see anything that's actually interesting, hopefully I'll have some interesting stuff by the time I publish this video. So thank you all and I'll see you in the next one. So while I was recording that video of me and my t-shirt that I bought, I was thinking about how I don't have hardly any money and how I really would like some more money. You know, everybody needs some more money, but I've had a particularly rough couple of months on YouTube, particularly rough several months, particularly rough year, uh, particularly rough several years. It's been a while since I've had an increase and it's kind of been de decreasing a lot. So while I was recording talking about the t-shirt and whatever, I was thinking about how dull of a video it is, and I was thinking, I hear about people in church all the time, and you'll see it in just a minute. But anyway, after that, I went to check the mail, and I brought the mail back in. I didn't really focus on what's in the mail, because I hardly ever get anything. And then my mom pointed out to me, look at this envelope right here. Here's the side that doesn't have an address on it. And I thought to myself, direct deposit, this, 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 and she said, you already got your tax refund, right? And I said, yeah, I thought so. And so I looked at it, and here's my reaction. Let's see how... Hopefully they're going to tell me that I have... This is going to be so fun. What if they have, like, we owe you exactly the amount of money for that trip to Ohio. Uh, <laughs> it's a refund. Yeah. It's a refund. It looks like it's $14.33. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Does that look correct? Now that I have changed into my appropriate boasting shirt, again, since I guess I'll include this in the video. Is the camera too low to the ground? Whatever. What this means is that I, at this very moment, have $800 in my money market account. And my goal was to get it up to $1,000 in just my money market account with next month's YouTube payment, which is $200. But, since I have sold no t-shirts, and since I have only at this very moment, 1,000, no, at this very moment, I have $115 in my checking account. So, my thought was, even if I got next month's YouTube payment, even if I got now, I would not be able to get to put $200 in my money market account because I would have to put it all in my checking account for me to be able to survive. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I wish to put add-ons on my hand pump car. But then, I mean, even earlier today, when I was recording my video talking about my t-shirts and stuff, I was thinking to myself, because I checked my money and everything, because I transferred the shirt payment, my profit to my 
credit union. And when I did that, I was thinking, you know how people in church, they always talk about those miracles, how money just appeared in their bank account, and how they got enough to survive, and they had faith in God. And should I turn the camera to see your reaction? Alright, you don't want to appear on camera. And I thought to myself, it always happens to them, but no, I don't get anything, because I'm too boastful. I brag too much about my lawnmower train to get that sort of blessing. And then what happens? I get a $254.33 check in the mail from the United States Treasury. <laughs> a miracle. And so what does this mean? This means that at this very moment, I will be able to hopefully, today or tomorrow, put this check into the bank and have thousand dollars in my money market account already. And then I will take the fifty-four dollars that is left over from it, and I will put that into my checking account. And then I what? They didn't know your refund. That's the miracle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that, uh, the miracle is, the miracle is that I already got my tax refund check, I thought. I was already got one of these, it was like... From the state. From the state? Oh, Boom. a little bit. So this is federal stuff. Ah. But you paid the federal. Uh, well, reality is illusion, the universe is a hologram. Buy gold, I'll take this money and hope that they don't, I'm going to have... I'm going to have certain railroads up in the mountains coming after me. I'm going to have the IRS coming after me. I'm going to go into hiding one of these years. That's the whole reason I've got to build up this railroading empire, build up a wall. And then when the, when the hitman team led by people going postal is marching through the walls and they're asking... I cut out the rest of this part of the tangent because I feared repercussions that it might cause. So, I can take this money and put it in my money account. I have the thousand dollars, which I want. Then, I can take the fifty-four dollars and thirty-three cents, put it in my checking account. And then, I can purchase the necessary add-ons for my hand car. But there's something else that occurs to me that I need to spend money on. Yes, 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 this is true. Trip. The trip. The secret trip. The secret trip. The trip which you don't know about. The trip that you do know about if you are certain people. I'm not sure if I should say it because if I say it, then certain people that I don't want to go on the trip will go on the trip too. Because this is ultra secret. Well, it isn't much of a secret anymore. Just a few hours ago, they announced it on Facebook. So, now I just gotta hope and pray that my worst nemesis is, 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 don't have enough money and don't have the time. But if they know I'm going, they'll make the money. They'll make the time. And then I'll have to deal with them on a long road trip all the way to Ohio listening to them talk about how every single steam engine needs to be fired up and how an age of steam should scrap <coughs> that engine and this engine and listen to them go on and on this is possibly not good but back to the fun video. How's that for entertainment? So, it just goes to show you if you think, but don't say unto God, well, I haven't I had a miracle. God will take pity on you and give you some. <sighs> Occasionally. So. This, mean, this doubles the amount of money that I've made this month. It's more than doubles. 
And what will I spend my money on? I will spend my money on my business. <sighs> now I have to go outside in the hot, hot weather, in the hot, hot sun, and underneath the hot, hot barn, and record me acting so I can have a fun thing to end this with, because the miracle obviously isn't enough. How's that? Yeah, I'm going to have to be careful next time I microwave some rolls left over, not to wet them so much. But always, every time I microwave them that much, they end up getting way too mushy mushy. Freeman, get this to good. Oh, I'm doing all right. Since I got that check in the mail out of nowhere, it's really given me a boost to morale. And I got a... I mean, even if I have that check, it's still enough, barely enough to pay for any additions to the hand car. And YouTube ad revenue isn't that good. I'm not even halfway to being able to make money off of this channel. Ernest, I think I'm vergangen. Samstag hab ich dir zu offen gelassen, damit sie ein Video offen kommen. Ein Video, das Dinkton David hilft, den halben Weg zu überwinden. Yes, those, those videos that I took last Saturday were really good, but I'm planning on publishing them tomorrow, and then I have that little double header video that I've always talked about doing set up for Sunday. I haven't done yet recorded it, but I'm pretty sure I can get it done by Sunday. Da is a double header. Say Sultan does well for Dinkton. Even if I do publish those videos, I won't be making any money off of them. I need something that will make me money. Oh, Freeman. Amor subo exing zukenende Freeman. Hast du dei specialin videos vergessen, dei du beweist hast? Verwenden sei dies videos mit verdacht an und wurden eins tages dei wird betzinsen.